Hello, for those of you who don't know me, my name is uh, Emily Inkpen. I'm a sci-fi writer of novels and short stories and poetry and audio drama. And for the last four years, I've been working on a trilogy of books which form part of uh, the Dex legacy as an overarching entity. And the series is about the characters Nathaniel Dex, uh, Tristan Crail, Dr. Osasri Vastava and Dr. Devek Jha, who are the founders of this infamous munitions empire called Dex Industries. And through the novels, we follow the adopted children of Nathaniel Dex. So it's told from the points of view of Varian, Isra and Ren Dex. Uh, now, book one of the trilogy uh, is called The Blood Road and it's represented by the John Gerald Literary Agency and it's currently being submitted to publishers. It's not yet out, but there is plenty to be going on with because last year I was extremely lucky and I was invited to write an audio drama for the Alternative Stories and Fake Realities podcast. And to that end, I decided to write an episode about a key event in the history of my planet and my characters and my story really as a whole and the bomb came out in March 2020 and went on to be one of the most popular episodes to be produced by the podcast that year and this year we decided to follow up with a sequel. Now the event that takes place in the bomb echoes through the history of my world and really does define the journey uh, of my characters in many ways. And I mean, I'm editing book three at the moment and I've just written a conversation where Osa Srivastava, the inventor of the bomb, is discussing the politics around the time of the event with Isra Dex, who was a 15 year old girl back when it happened, but she's 29 in the book when they're having that conversation and they're sort of discussing what the world looked like leading up to the event and that turning point. So writing episode one, it was a great opportunity for me to A, introduce the main characters from my trilogy and B, to explore this moment in their past, like this significant event that took place. So yeah, so now we're sort of warming up for the release of episode two. And The Hunt is really all about Isra and her adoptive brothers, Varian and Ren. So in The Bomb, we get more insight into Nathaniel, Tristan, Osa and Devik, and their kind of vibe, their kind of, you know, like click um, in that episode. And The Hunt is really more about the kids. Um, now these characters, I mean, they're pretty tragic, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they were each taken from fallen countries as babies and adopted by Nathaniel Dex. And at that time, Dex Industries was still in its infancy. Um, it hadn't yet become a munitions empire that we see in the audio dramas and certainly not in the novels. I mean, at, at the time, the novels is huge and it's terrifying and it's, you know, it's, it's just massive. Um, but the idea behind the company um, back then was to not only sell advanced munitions and hardware, but to sell advanced ground troops as well. And Varian, Isra and Ren are adopted by Nathaniel, but given to Dr. Devik for him to experiment on. Now, in my first novel, I mean, they're 26 and 27. And in these episodes, they're just 15 and 16. So they're very different people, but at the time we see in these audio dramas, they really are turning into the characters that we see in the books. They're becoming the people that will carry that narrative through the trilogy. And the war they're fight fighting at this time in the Dominos Mountains is, it's their first test deployment. Um, so up until now, I guess <laughs> now they've been kept within the confines of the Dex Industries compound and this basically means that they've spent their time between the home that they share with Nathaniel, um, the lab and the military training facility they have on Dex Island 
um, and they've had like they've, they've had supervised outings before very very tightly supervised outings where they were sort of taken off to see something or you know they were sort of they, they were shown or they were you know escorted to be with Nathaniel for probably some kind of publicity event somewhere but always very very closely monitored the entire time so this is a big experiment and this whole exercise of putting them out there and deploying them for the first time is really just um, Nathaniel, Tristan, Oster and Devic sort of going, okay, so we've created this thing, Oof, off we go, let's see how it works, which is kind of like how you would test a bomb. I mean, like you'd, you'd, you'd get a sort of controlled area and you'd put this thing there and then you'd, you know, see how it goes. And that's basically what they're doing with, with Vary and Israel and Ren. Um, so yeah, I mean, like they're, they're, I guess they're out in this like test environment, which is actually a real warp. <laughs> um, and as a result, these like the kids, they're kind of discovering new things. And like, firstly, they're discovering that they're very good at what they do, which is killing people. And secondly, that in being good at what they do, they're targets. Um, and they didn't see this coming. I mean, they thought that being superior soldiers, um, well, super soldiers, let's call a spade a spade, it's what they are. Um, they thought that things would be easy, but they're not. And we see there's a, a prequel short story called The Dark, uh, which is linked below. And in that episode, Ren's already been captured by their enemy and undergoes torture. Um, and in episode two, The Hunt, Isra is also captured. Um, now what happens to these three um, during these episodes, it changes them forever. And that's one of the great things about writing these audio drums because I get to delve into the past that's really molded them. Um, and there's this turning point that we see here, like their upbringing hasn't been great. But now they're learning that they'll never really fit in the outside world either. And there's a tragedy to that. Like, yeah, it's sadness. Like they've, they've realized they've been put out into the open world on their own for the first time. They're not um, supervised and things aren't easy. People on the outside don't like them. They are being targeted and they're being targeted because of the way they've been raised and what they've been raised into. Um, so yeah, and in addition, in this episode, we get to see Tristan, Osa and Devic, I mean, they're recognising for the first time that these scientific experiments that they've raised are now out in the world and the world is treating them badly. And it's kind of their fault. And we get to see kind of how they feel about that and, I mean, how they're reacting to that unforeseen situation, I guess. I mean, it's stupid that it's unforeseen. They should have seen this coming. They're raising kids, they're putting them out into the world. What did they think was going to happen? They're academics. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you can't, you're like, they, they, they think up here, they, they don't necessarily, uh, yeah, take all of these things into account. Um, so yeah, that's going, that's sort of, um, in a nutshell, what happened in book one and the context behind book, um, episode one and the context behind episode two. Um, so please do follow the link below to thedexlegacy.com. Um, there you can find episode one, The Bomb, plus the short story, The Dark, uh, where Ren undergoes his, uh, has his adventure and undergoes his torture, which is pretty nasty. Um, and you can also sign up to the newsletter and I'll let you know as soon as episode two is out and ready to listen to. And I won't spam you, I promise. I know that that's really annoying, but I will just say, hey, this thing's coming out and, you know, just keep you up to date. Um, you can also find all kinds of fun things over there, like uh, there's interviews, maps, there's the soundtrack, and there's actor profiles, and there's lots there, and there's more to come as well. So it's just a good place to kind of find anything you want. Um, in the meantime, thanks for listening, and I'm just super excited to share this with you. Um, yeah, 
episode two and I really hope there's going to be an episode three and four not only because I've already written them but because um, I think I think that this is a really great sort of arc and story to tell of these characters and it's a really dark kind of um, it's a dark look at super soldiers and the sort of morality behind what makes them and and also that the, the humanity as well, there's one of the big juxtapositions between, um, you know, like the kids, who they are and who they were raised by and how they were raised is that Dex Industries and, you know, Nathaniel, Tristan, Osra and Devic, they done everything they can to dehumanise these people. And together, the three of them have remained just stoically, stoically human in the face of all of it they are so human and so flawed and so tragically wonderful i mean obviously i love them they're actually they're not nice people really but you know knowing how they were raised that's not surprising anyway that could be a whole other episode that could be a whole other video <laughs> i'm gonna stop now and thank you very much for listening definitely sign up for the newsletter below definitely visit the website listen to episode one can't wait to share episode two with you